Hey guys, Minnesota Maker Man here. Just want to bring you a quick video on how to make a fully 3D printed whiskey and coke RFID lockbox. So let's get started. So here's the basic electronic design that I whipped up using Easy EDA. As you can see in the bottom left, we have our RC522 RFID module, which we will use to verify our RFID chip is correct. On the left, we also have two SG90 servos that we'll be using as our locking mechanism. I also included two LEDs with current limiting resistors, which I found helpful during programming. Uh, they're definitely not needed and ultimately I decided to not connect them on my final box since for me it's a puzzle box and I didn't want to give too many clues. In the middle we have an Arduino Nano which we will program to interface with the RFID module and servos to control access to the box. On the left I added a simple on off switch and a 9 volt power supply. In a perfect world I would wire the servos to be run from an external supply or maybe through an LM706 voltage regulator. Uh, just because the Arduino Nano's onboard voltage regulator is not recommended to power SG90 servos directly, but by only running one servo at a time through the code, I've not really had any issues. Uh, just be aware that if you want the box to be powered for an extended period of time, you'd want to wire from an external power supply instead of a classic 9 volt battery like I did. So now that everything's printed and you've gathered all your components, it's time to start putting together the box. So first, you need to grab your SG90 servos uh, and put them into these little slots here. Uh, they should be pretty tight and not easy to pull out. Uh, and then you're going to want to grab your RC522 RFID module uh, and insert it into this slot here. Uh, mine fit really well and snapped right in, but if your moves around a lot, you might want to put some glue or electrical tape on there. Uh, then wire everything up to the schematic. Uh, I decided to solder everything onto a perf board with a removable uh, Arduino Nano. I also decided to add an on off switch. Uh, so once everything's wired up, we'll need to program the Arduino and our RFID chips. Uh, the program will need one master RFID chip and uh, that'll allow us to uh, add additional chips to gain access to our box. Uh, this will make a lot more sense after I show you in a little bit. I'm not going to show you how to program the Arduino. Um, there's a lot of tutorials online for that, but I will show you how to set up your RFID chips. So once you've uploaded the code that's in the, that I'll link in the video description, uh, you're going to want to open the serial monitor and you should see something like this. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is grab your RFID chip that you're going to use as the master, uh, So and then you're going to scan that. So I already have a, a master in memory, so that's why it's showing that. But for you, the first one that you scan, from then on, that'll be your master card and it'll open the box. After that, what you're going to want to do, now that you're in this program mode, is grab your other RFID chip uh, that you're going to put in whatever object you want. For me, I did a Jack Daniels bottle, and you're going to scan that, and that's going to add that, that ID into EEPROM, which will remain even if you lose power. Uh, and then you're going to scan your MasterCard again to lock the box. So now that the box is locked, uh, and you have your other RFID chip, uh, 
basically loaded into EEPROM, then when you scan it, then it'll say, welcome, you shall pass, so you'll gain access to the box. Since I was putting my RFID chip underneath the Jack Daniels bottle, I couldn't really use one of these standard keychains that comes in the kit, so I used a pliers and a knife and I just removed the coil and the RFID chip really carefully, uh, and then I taped that using electrical tape onto the bottom of a uh, Jack Daniels bottle. It'd definitely be a lot better in epoxy, but I didn't have any and it works for what I needed.